the morning market kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good Wednesday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, company live from TFNN, 8.30 a.m. Wednesday morning, 60 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we got markets in negative territory right now, volatility in both directions. We just got ADP payrolls within the last half hour. June payrolls, private payrolls rising 2.37 million. The number they were looking for was about 2.5 million. And let's just jump over to the headline, why not? The revision, though, to the month of May, up to 3.065 million from 2.76. So you add about 300,000 jobs from the May number, you miss by about 130,000 jobs from the expected June number. All of this ahead of tomorrow's non-farm payroll number, 24 hours from right now, 8.30 a.m. We also get initial weekly jobless claims, 8.30 a.m. tomorrow, going into a long weekend. Should be an interesting 8.30 show. It doesn't get more interesting almost than both of those data points going into a long weekend. Could be historic numbers, non-farm payrolls, Private payrolls here are going to guide some of that, but the estimate before this number anywhere from like flat to maybe 9 million jobs added. Last month, a big surprise of adding millions of jobs. Jobs, We'll see how that plays out, but that number just coming out. So yesterday ends the quarter, quite a quarter indeed, that second quarter. Check, a look, check out this chart. NASDAQ, yeah, how about a 30% gain in the second quarter of the year? S&P 500 at 20, the Dow just under that number. Um, Huge, huge quarters for those indices. Of course, quite the acceleration. Market lows coming towards the end of March. Just for some context of where we are, right? The slide begins February 20th. We reach the low by March 23rd. We come into April at about 25.65 in the S&Ps. So you got off the lows, but quite a fall from that level. And currently sitting about 3,078 in the S&Ps. Jumping around to the action last night, we were right around, you know, within five or so points of where we were trading at last night. 5.30, the slide kind of began. We trade down about 30 points from the high of 3,093. You trade down to a low of 3,062. Since then, we're up about 16 points. You see the pop on 8.15 with the ADP number coming in. You could say strong numbers, right? 2.37 million plus a 300,000 revision. That means we added 3 million private payroll jobs in the month of May. Uh, again, all the head of the data points that we're expecting tomorrow morning. In terms of what else we have happening, Macy's out with their numbers. First quarter loss does not expect another full shutdown. Uh, we do not anticipate another full shutdown. Staying flexible, prepared to address increases in cases on a regional level. 203 a share on revenue of $3.02 billion. A net loss of 3.58 billion or 11.53 a share compared with net income last year of 136 million. Revenue declined, look at that decline from 5.5 to 3.03. And Macy's, you could argue, you could argue was already in trouble, uh, let alone COVID numbers. Pretty muted response, I mean volatility, but we closed yesterday at 6.88. We're looking to open right now within about 15 cents at 6.76. So Pizza Hut, one of their biggest franchisees of Yum Brands, 1,200 Pizza Huts, 400 Wendy's restaurants. The first one opened in 1962 for this uh, NPC International, the largest U.S. franchisee. Uh, they're going BK. In a note published Tuesday before bankruptcy filing, Pizza Hut's owner Yum Brands could lose up to $54 million in annualized royalty revenue. For a company like Yum, $54 million. Not the end of the world, but what this points to when you have 1,200 Pizza Huts, 400 Wendy's, and you go in BK as that reverberates. FedEx out with their numbers. Talk about some volatility here. Getting into the thick of it. Adjusted profit fell by almost 50% to 660 million or 253 a share. Revenue slipped to 17.4 billion from 17.8. FedEx though trading higher. Analysts on average expected a profit of a buck 52 on revenue of 16.4. So how about beaten by a billion dollars on revenue and beating by a dollar oh one on earnings, FedEx? It would make sense, right? Look at that pop. How about up $16 right now? You're talking about 11, 12% pop on FedEx on their numbers. Right out of the gate, you accelerate. 
for some context to where FedEx has been. That's a three year weekly, let's put it on a daily. There's your COVID collapse, we'll call it from 160 to 88. And again, keep in mind, we're gonna open at 156 right here this morning. We're literally gonna be in the gap from when the market fell apart from February 21st. FedEx shipping everything across the world looks like they're gonna be able to compete with Amazon at least for the time being. We'll jump up to Amazon, why not, while we're at it. Talk about a chart. This is just a one year daily, folks. There's your COVID collapse in the market. You're only at 2100, you go to 16. This morning, we're gonna open basically flat at 2758, right near all time highs on Amazon. Some of the other FANG stocks while we're at it, Microsoft shares gonna open a bit lower today, making all time highs yesterday of 20440. Apple shares, all time highs within the last five or six days, not quite up at that level though. We're gonna open a little bit lower this morning at 264 on Apple. Netflix shares, 455. All time highs of 474. And how about Tesla shares? Look at this acceleration yesterday, 1079. There's the pop yesterday to 1087. We got midday. Right now we're trading at about 1075 off a bit from that 1079 close yesterday. All right, jumping around to some commodities before we jump back to equities, check out this crude chart. Crude, just since this morning, we're up at 40.58 as of 5 a.m. I pulled up, uh, I was up early this morning, about 5.30. And I pulled open the charts, I said, ah, you know, gold had quite a day yesterday, we'll jump to that. Gold's down about $10 at 17.90. We were above 1,800. Crude contract said, ah, we're above 40. We're coming into EIA numbers, two hours from right now, we get the inventory. And since I've been awake, we've traded down about a dollar. It's been a straight acceleration. This is 15 minute bars. We go from 40.40 at about 5.30. We just touched a low of 39.05. Then we've bounced about 40 cents, currently trading 39.42. Mention gold. There's your gold yesterday. We rise to an intraday high of 18.04 at 11 a.m. You actually get to 18.07 at about 3.30. And 6 a.m., you go from 1805, currently trading 1790. Some context on gold. There's your one year daily, not bad. A year ago, 1384. You really want some context. Look at this run, right? From 2002, the run begins 1923. You're talking about August of 2011. Nine years later, in July of 2020, we're coming up to those levels above 1800, that high on that chart, 1923 on the price of gold, silver, for some context. Got a long way to go to make it back to anywhere near where we were, but just for the last year. So check out that, right? Gold above the highs, silver from 11 to 1857. And as we come into the end of this first segment, here's your VIX, 85.47, that spike high. Things calmed down a bit as this market Climbing a bit from those ADP numbers, the VIX going for 30 again. And let's jump over to the S&Ps because we're catching a bid. 3,082, we're up about 20 points from where we were trading at at 730. We're up about from the lows 12 or 13 on that ADP number. Stay tuned, folks. We come back after the break, see what else we have on tap for Wednesday trading. We'll be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has just launched their July 4th Tiger Dollar Sale. For one week only, we've doubled all the bonuses where you can now get up to a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars are good on all TFNN newsletters, webinars, and trading services, and never expire. For all the details and to get your Tiger Dollars before this sale ends Monday, July 6th, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. 
The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We're looking at an S&P negative by 11 at 3,078. NASDAQ just off 27 at 10,119. The Dow futures off 149, 25,540. Other stories out there I wanted to take a look at. So uh, we talked about private payrolls in terms of where they came from on this number that just came out. Hospitality industry, the biggest gain, 961,000 higher. Small business overall, 937,000. Uh, there's your 961. In addition to big gains in hospitality and construction, another hard hit industry added 394,000. Manufacturing rose by 88,000. On the services side, which grew by 1.912 million. Other big gainers were transportation utilities. I mean, big gains across the board, millions of jobs. Uh, again, all ahead of when we get the non farm payroll numbers tomorrow. Other stories out there so Constellation Brands, they're acquiring, I don't know if I'm going to nail this name, Gary Vinerchuk. Empathy Wines, so this is direct, consume, direct to consumer wine company, just started last year uh, as Constellation, trying to get in the business of delivering more wine direct to consumers while people are at home. And you see the market, folks, STZ is Constellation. Talk about an acceleration on that. They trade up to 180 from 174 yesterday, pairing those gains a bit. We're going to open somewhere around 178 right now on Constellation. Constellation, a big investor in Canopy. Canopy Growth, CGC, for the cannabis, uh, these, cannabis uh, these cannabis stocks. I mean, you almost got to go back to really see the beginning of the slide, a three-year weekly. We're going back highs. Remarkable to think. Almost two years ago now, these highs of the euphoria. The, the slide really beginning lower about 14 months ago. Uh, Canopy, the biggest cannabis company out there, still struggling at about 16, 16 to see some serious growth as that industry tries to charge it up. Over to the airlines, United, they plan to add 25,000 flights in August as customers are, quote unquote, are slowly returning. Yeah, you probably emphasize the slowly in that, in that phrase. Um, to just 40% of flights, that would still bring it to 2019. United and other carriers grappling how to cater to an uptick in demand, of course. And you had American come out, coming out in there. I got a little bug in here, folks. I got a little mosquito that made it into the studio. Shame on them. Um, 
American coming out and saying they're gonna try and fill flights. United adding about 25,000 flights. Whether people are gonna come back, I can tell you personally, we're in Florida. Uh, I have a lot of family in the Northeast, not exactly in New York, but in the Boston area. If I was gonna travel up there, right now I don't think we have to quarantine, but uh, I potentially have a wedding up there in September. If Florida is still raging, I, I basically can't go. I can't travel. I can't even go because it would take a uh, two-week quarantine probably if I'm coming from a state with an outbreak. But American, as I talked about, they're the ones. Now, this is a three-year weekly. Let's put it on a 20-day hourly to see. Getting a little bit of a pop to 1343. United, a little bit of a pop as well. So these stocks trading a bit higher. And look at that. They're doing it on that payrolls number. The airlines really hoping things get back to business. Um, we just jumped from 34.50 to about 36.26. United, American, Delta, eh, a little bit higher as well on those airlines. So mortgage demand out this morning as well, falling for the second straight week, potential slowdown in the housing recovery. Mortgage applications to purchase a home fell for the second straight week, down 1% from the previous week. Refinance demand, most sensitive to interest rates, fell 2% for the week, but was 74% higher than a year ago. Depends where it was a year ago. Maybe there were no refinances. Not sure exactly where rates are. When you start talking about percentages off of low numbers, refinance demand, um, but that number coming out this morning as well. So Hong Kong, this could, this could really play out in terms of uh, could be a sleeper in terms of a story that really matters, Hong Kong makes the first arrests under China's new national security law to the people in Hong Kong up there. It is a tough one, folks. It looks like democracy is going to fall to the Chinese um, as they look to really solidify power ahead of um, 27 years ahead of the transition. Under the new law, many of Hong Kong's protests that took place last year would be punishable by law. We're going to get into it. It is like crazy steep punishments, of course. It gives Beijing greater control on the city and has already had an impact on the protest movement with prominent activists resigning and withdrawing from the, his pro-democracy party. And to get into it, so check it out. The law stipulates that a person who acts with a view to, quote, undermining national unification of Hong Kong with the mainland faces punishment of up to lifetime in prison, depending on the severity of the offense. Under, under the new regulation, many of Hong Kong's protests that took place last year, punishable by law, uh, you know, you're talking about passing a law that says basically you can't protest or we'll put you in jail forever. That's, that's, that's just a remarkable statement for China as this plays out, one of the many things in the news. Talk about what else going on in terms of dictatorships. Good old Putin, he's going to be in there for a while. 2036, Russia holds one of its most important votes in years. Result, yeah, uh, not too surprising, folks. A week-long vote, constitutional changes in Russia come to a close Wednesday. So you got President Xi over in China. He's running the show forever. President Putin in Russia, he's running the show forever. Uh, uh, voting on changes that include an amendment that would allow Putin to run for further terms in office, potentially lead the country until 2036. Not bad, 16-year term for uh, the good old KGB Putin running Russia. Unlike most votes, however, the one in Russia that ends on Wednesday, yeah, not too surprising. Don't uh, don't don't be too anxious to see how those polls close. All right, what else we have going on? What else we got going on? Where were we looking? Uh, what do we have up here? Yeah, some of the stocks here in terms of the health stocks, Department of Health and Human Services, they extended the testing partnership with CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and Kroger, scaling up more than 600 sites across the country. That hitting those a bit. And Denny's, they're going to be out with a public stock, stock offering, 8 million shares. Uh, underwriters expect to receive the option of buying an additional 1.2. The chain intends to use proceeds for general corporate purposes. Denny's, good old Denny's. Some smothered and covered hash browns, uh, down a bit from yesterday. We're going to open almost a dollar lower, 10%. From 10.10, we were down to 8.60. You're trading about 9.05. What else we got going on, folks? Saturday's July 4th. Today's July 1st, a new quarter. We're having a Tiger Dollar sale, front page of TFNN. We've doubled all the bonuses. You can get a 20, 30, or a 40% bonus on whatever you spend. Tiger Dollars, for current subscribers out there, it's a no-brainer. You order the Tiger Dollars, apply them to your account. They're automatically applied to anything you sign up for. New people out there, 
they never expire, can be used for any good or service. Uh, a great way to try out any newsletter. You still have a 30 day money back guarantee when you try them out. And you can purchase either spend 500, you get 600, so you get a $100 bonus, a 20% bonus. You spend 1,000, you get 1,300 Tiger dollars, a 30% or $300 bonus. Or you spend 1,500, you get 2,100 Tiger dollars, a 40% bonus of 600 extra Tiger dollars to use for any products we have. All of those levels, this deal running through Monday, we usually do about a couple of these a year, uh, a great deal. And uh, like I said, you apply them to your account and no matter what, whether it's a webinar, trading workshops, newsletters, services, all of that covered by those Tiger dollars. All right, as we come into this break, S&Ps, we're gonna get green by the open. We got 40 minutes. And we're trading at 3,084, a little bit of strength off 745 this morning. Stay tuned, folks. We come back to finish up the program. We'll go over what else we have on tap for Wednesday trading. Take a look at some commodities. We'll be right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006. And like many of you, was drawn in by Bam! as well as whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Right now, we're looking at an S&P, negative 10, 3,079. NASDAQ futures off a bit, but check out the pop that we've had. Now, yesterday, S&P, quite a final 15 minutes we had in the market. I mean, technically, right, this bar, 3.45 p.m. Eastern time, we open at 3,082.25. We close it out within one S&P point. We close it out at 3,083, but guess what? We trade up 20 points 
and down 20 points in a flash there. Nothing like that. And zooming it in just even on a five minute to see the acceleration, right? Even from three o'clock and talk about a pop. We trade up in the span of five minutes, down the span of basically five minutes. But look at the action we're getting right now. S&Ps technically in the futures just went flat. 3,090 in those S&Ps. Let me zoom this back out. There we go. Whoops. This is a five minute chart. 3,090 we just hit. The highs from early this morning. You're talking about just a few points higher than that. And we just got to about 3,100 on the dot last night but quite a charge higher strong adp numbers strong revision i think the market really going to like the fact that hey guess what even in may private payrolls added three million now why did we just add 2.37 million if we added three million in may we're going to get a revision in that maybe uh maybe jumping around to what else i had up here where were we Beyond Meat, that's what I wanted to talk about. They're moving today. They enter grocery stores in mainland China through Alibaba Partnership. Good to be in Beyond Meat today. And check out this pop. Last night from 133.98, we were almost at 150 earlier. But watch out, folks. This thing's got some volatility in a big way. We were just at 50. Would it trade to 1? 65 down to below 130 you're going to open today though right at about 146 near that upper range in beyond meat all right s and p's can't hold it down stocks only go up folks that's the deal they only go up no i laugh i kid we got 24 hours until the big number tomorrow be interesting to see if the market just takes this number adp payrolls charges higher Ahead of tomorrow's number, we get non-farm payrolls, we get weekly initial jobless claims at 8.30, and then we get a three-day weekend in the market. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Larry Pesvento coming up next. We'll be right back. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have